Hey there, this is Akshay Manan. Welcome back to a new video, and we are back with another video on functions. And in this video, we are going to learn types of parameters, right? So, if you have not watched the previous video where I talked about functions, do watch it if you are unaware what are functions, right? Because you need to know functions before jumping on parameters, right? So, the topic of the day is positional parameters, right? And we have types of parameters. we have named parameters we have positional parameters we have default parameters right and in this video we are going to focus on positional parameters right and so just to learn this i'm going to create a function main function which is going to call some other functions also right so i have another functions which is going to return me a map right so return type is going to be a map perfect okay and it is going to be user map okay so it is going to return me a map which is going to be of like which is which is going to be user map okay that's fine and this function takes certain parameters right so in this circular brackets we write parameters right so my first parameter is going to be name of that user okay my second one is going to be the age of that user then my another parameter is going to be gender of that um uh user sorry and my next parameter is going to be the class of that user maybe we are considering a student database right so string or we can say int class right 1 2 3 12, 12 it can be right so int class and yes class is again a keyword so i'm going to say a division or we can say uh, i don't know what let's say class user class okay so user class perfect and then we are going to define our curly brackets and now we are going to write the content of this function right you can make it small and it will be visible right so first of all it is going to uh, first of all you need to see that these are called parameters right so whatever is there inside this circular brackets are called your parameters so i am taking four parameters name age gender and user class right so the way or you can say the positions or the order in which in which these parameters are defined in that particular order itself you need to uh, provide uh, to this function definition right so this function actually it is going to return me a map so i'm going to return me a i'm going to return a map which can be name can be name then age can be age so this is a map right we have already covered it and gender is going to be gender then we have user class we have user class perfect and it is returning me a, returning me a map this is perfect right and now i'm going to call this function so i'm going to print or i'm going to say map user data is equal to i'm going to call user map and now you will see so this function needs parameters that's why you are seeing this red Uh, error and you can see over here also i can see my error four positional arguments expected by the user map so you can see positional arguments so these are also called arguments they are called arguments and they are also called parameters right so positional arguments why positional para uh, why positional arguments it is written because the way in which these uh, parameters are asked from the function definition in that order only you need to provide that means first of all you need to write the name of the user then you need to write the age of the user then you need to write the gender of the user and then you need to write the class of the user so i don't know what i should put in the class let's say 12th class right so 12 now you will see all the errors are gone right all the errors are gone so first you provided your name then your age then your gender and then your user class and you can see the data type should also match so first is a string so it is a string then it's your integer i cannot write 22.0 over here it is going to give me an error because i am not expecting a double i am expecting a integer right so int age then your gender is in string then your user class is in integer right so i have provided my positional arguments so the name only defines over here the position needs to be fixed so position is fixed right it needs to be consistent right and now you can print your user data so it is super simple right no rocket science over here so i can just run it and you will you are going to see my user map you can see this is my user map so these are called positional arguments or positional 
parameters. I hope that you like this video. I hope I was clear. Till the next content, keep coding, keep innovating and thanks a lot.